up. Anyway, get to work. If you have any questions. Could work if you're pretty good at landing, but also could look like that or look like that. You know, you might not know where you are. All right, Doc, I'm taking my rifle. My name's First Lieutenant Burrell. I'm platoon commander, second platoon, Charlie Company, third LCT. All right, so the Marines are out here doing land nav. Um, it's a basic skill that every Marine should possess. They use this as a building block so that whenever they integrate into their squads and teams and we go out and we're doing field exercises, any Marine can be relied upon to go out there and land nav from you know, his PB location to an observation point um, or if it's just a patrol going out scanning the area. We're out here at Marine Corps training area Bellows. The Marines are working on a basic skill set, land navigation. It's a skill set that they can use as they go out into field exercises. Um, use this skill set to be relied upon. Any Marine can pick up a map, protractor and compass, and navigate their way to a PB or from a PB to an observation point, as well as just whenever they're out there conducting reconnaissance patrols um, or any type of patrol outside of a PB. Land navigation is one of the basic skill sets that Marines learn in IMC or IOC whenever they, whatever you know, training pipeline they're going through, whether it's an officer or enlisted. Um, and it's a skill set that continues to be uh, revisited as they advance through their advanced A schools, whether it's advanced infantry Marine course or infantry small unit leaders course or infantry unit leaders course. It's a, that skill set of land navigation. They're going to go back to those schools and be expected to land nav to an eight digit grid with just a map, protractor, and a compass. So we really expect these Marines in the fleet to hone this skill set, to learn the skill set, so that whenever they do go to those courses, um, they're ready and they're prepared. Um, outside of just the uh, advanced infantry training that these Marines will have the opportunity to go to, it's a crucial skill set for them to have um, as a Marine executing a field exercise, whether on deployment, um, it's just absolutely crucial whether you're a team leader, a squad leader, platoon sergeant, platoon commander. It's a skill set that is required f for each and every single Marine. My favorite part of the training is watching like really young Marines who have like a basic understanding of land nav and their experience in land navigation up to this point has maybe been navigating with a team or a buddy. And now we send them out there alone by themselves with just the skills, with just the equipment that they need to navigate, map, protractor, and compass and they come back and they're a little bit unsure on you know if they found all their points they come back and turns out you know they found all their points um, four out of five five out of five um, and just for the marines to walk away with that uh, sense of understanding sense of pride like i understand how to get myself in and out of situations or in and out in and around uh, terrain while i'm out executing training uh, it's a good 
feeling from whether you're a team leader, squad leader, platoon commander, platoon sergeant, it's a good feeling to be like these Marines have now um, honed this skill set um, and are better prepared to, you know, do whatever it is, their role, their job inside the squad. I think it's relevant to talk about the, you know, with all the technology that the Marine Corps has available to them today, um, whether it be um, GPS devices or our uh, daggers, there's all this technological reliance on navigation um, as well as just not only navigation, but just reliance on technology for us to do our job. It's always good to understand how to do it when batteries die, when we cannot rely on that technology, the equipment breaks, and all they need is simple pieces of equipment like a protractor, a compass, and a map, and they're able to break down to basic pieces of equipment, use that basic piece of equipment, rely upon it, and have confidence in that and their skill set to be able to get them from point A to point B. Um, it's something that's always been driven into me um, from my early days in the Marine Corps that you cannot rely on your equipment entirely, um, especially things that run off of power that re require like recharge, batteries. Um, it's good to have that um, secondary skill set that you can fall back on when and if your equipment does fail you. But as Marines, I think we all understand that um, no matter how good the gear is, the gear could still fail you. Um, whether it's just, you know, um, Going back on to getting, getting, getting banged up by just the, the nature of how rough our job is, um, falling, breaking, things break. But, you know, basic pieces of equipment that are really, really durable do not break. And as long as we understand and know how to employ those pieces of equipment, we're going to be just fine. Uh, it's just being able to rely and fall back on that skill set. Even with land nav, I mean, they've got, they've got five points that they've got to go out there and find. Um, we give them six hours to do so. So it's essentially one hour per point with an hour, you know, kind of in between time there, you know, just kind of like, hey, messed up, got a, got a little bit off track. Um, so you have an hour to navigate from point to point and each point could be, you know, uh, a thousand meters away from the next point. So it is a physical event. They're out there navigating with, you know, the rifle, their uh, patrolling load, their day pack, same thing that they would be out there patrolling with um, in a patrol or inside of a PB. Um, so it is a physical event as well. Uh, they're out there probably running from point to point. You can look around, it's tall reed grass all through here. Visibility is roughly about five to 10 meters. Um, it's, a, it's a physical event like getting through there. You know, sometimes we're, we, we could find ourselves in a situation where we're five kilometers out or 10 kilometers out from a key piece of terrain or a location and we get the call from our company commander, from our battalion commander that, hey, Chaos 2, I need you to move from the point that you're at right now, five kilometers east, uh, and we don't have any ground transportation. Um, with the skill set, land navigation, as well as like the physical capacity to move on foot under load, five kilometers, 10 kilometers, 15 kilometers, we are capable of achieving the intent of our company commander, our battalion commander, um, or whatever that mission set requires of us.